guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I sound like shit because I am going through a very bad cold and my voice is totally gone. I thought that this video I will do by a talk to because in this video I am going to show you my updated everyday makeup routine. Uh, now when I started my YouTube journey, I did a kind of like everyday makeup tutorial for office or college going students but since then I have actually incorporated uh, many new products and I have been using some different technique in my um, daily makeup routine so I thought why not that I show you guys. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you guys two different looks. Now I know that kind of sounds scary because on a daily basis you don't really have that much of time to experiment with trust me when i say this this makeup literally takes me like 10 to 15 minutes that's it like 10 to 15 minutes flat i do not use uh, like different tools altogether or different kind of brushes or like anything when you are in jiffy i understand that and you just need to be very very quick with your makeup when i say that i'm going to show you two different looks what i mean is actually uh, like a look where you are wearing your uh, whole lips and uh, nude eyes and a different look when you are going for like maybe bold eyes and nude kind of lip so without further ado let's get right in first i'm going to start off by priming my face because that is very very important because you are going to wear this makeup literally all day long and for my primer i use basically these two uh, primers these uh, are from nyx and uh, one is for dry skin and one is for oily skin so right now i'm using the dry skin one because during winter my skin tends to get really dry and this one is the honey dew me up is an amazing uh, primer so once i'm just done with priming my face uh, what i do is i take this la girl pro bb cream again this product is for dry skin mostly this is not for oily skin but uh, during winter i uh, tend to get dry skin a lot so i just mix this up with maybelline fit me uh, not fit me Maybelline Superstay foundation what I do is that I take a pea size amount of LA Girl Pro BB cream and just one tiny drop of the Superstay foundation and uh, that just gives me a perfect concoction because I don't really want a full or heavy coverage on a daily to daily basis and I blend it sometimes with my fingers and sometimes with this uh, foundation brush this one is from the Wet n Wild foundation brush I have recently showed it in my makeup brush collection video which I will link uh, uh, somewhere in the screen so if you want to watch that go and check that out it's a very helpful and uh, nice video i would say <laughs> so once i'm done with that what i do is i just need to conceal my face i'm going to hide my dark circles a little bit but not too much and i have like a little bit blemishes here and there so for that what i do is i take this sugar cosmetics ace of face foundation stick this is basically a foundation stick but it is like insanely high coverage so i just take a like uh, very little amount and just dab it in the required area and just blend it with my fingers but the reason i don't use my concealers because all of my concealers are a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone that's what uh, concealers are supposed to be this one is the perfect match for my skin and that doesn't really give me a like really kind of artificial look but it does the job pretty nicely now to set my face, I take this L'Oreal Matte Magic Compact Powder. This is a holy grail product for oily skin beauties. Using this product since like last four years, I guess, and I just love, love, love this product. So I am just applying it all over my face with a kabuki brush, and I'm just applying a little bit more with the sponge applicator that it comes with. Uh, only on my t-zone because those are the areas that tend to get oily really quickly for my blush what i do is i take this nyx uh, blusher stick this is actually a highlighter kind of stick and I, again i just take a very little amount with my fingers and just dab it onto my skin this way it just gives you a very nice and healthy glow and doesn't really look very artificial i know what you guys are thinking that i'm applying uh, powder and top of that i'm using cream products trust me guys it doesn't really make any kind of mess it in fact uh, gives you a very nice and natural kind of look because over here we are applying all the products in very minimum quantity i'm not like really caking up my face with powder so 
when I'm using cream products top of the powder it doesn't really make any difference then I take this liquid highlighter from NYX again and this is the away we glow you can take any liquid highlighter of your choice the reason I'm shifting towards the cream and liquid highlighters because I have noticed that this kind of products gives you a very natural uh, glow as if you are just uh, glowing from inside so I just really really like that and also it doesn't really make any problem or any creating any problem because whenever uh, I am like my skin is getting oily my skin tends to get oily only and only uh, on my t-zone so I'm not really using any of the cream product on my t-zone so it doesn't really make any problem for me once I'm done with that I am going to do my eyebrows quickly and this one is from uh, the company called color bar and uh, the shade is called chestnut now I'm sorry that this product looks really beat because I use it pretty much like every day and it's a very highly pigmented uh, eyebrow pencil so if you are like a um, beginner with your eyebrow pencils and all I wouldn't suggest to buy this one you really need to go with very very light handed otherwise you will just create a mess so I'm just lining my uh, natural eyebrow shape nothing much after that once I'm done with that it's time to do my eyes and for that I am taking this uh, makeup revolution I love chocolate palette I think this is the I heart chocolate makeup palette and this is my everyday go-to makeup palette because you can look at the shades I mean the shades are to die for and this was the exact due for Anastasia subculture not subculture I think uh, modern renaissance palette yeah correct modern renaissance palette and today I'm just going to work with these four shades right here and uh, I'm just taking a fluffy brush I'm not really switching between many eyeshadow brushes because I just need a light wash of color on my eyes now this palette now today I am opting for a warm kind of uh, eye makeup look but if you have this palette you can pretty much create any sort of nude or everyday makeup makeup look if you want also you can actually like glam up your eyes because it has like dark or uh, red shades and dark brown shades which are perfect to create that smoky kind of look and then i'm just taking this uh, shimmery shade i'm applying very very lightly with my fingertips and i'm just going to tight line my lower lash line just to make my eyes look bigger and for that i'm taking this white eye pencil i think this is again from uh, the company called nyx but you can literally go with any white eye pencil and trust me guys uh, this makeup actually takes me only 10 to 15 minutes daily here it is taking long because i am actually showing all the products and describing you the whole process but it's a very very uh, easy and quick um, makeup look you anybody can achieve it and it looks really nice and fresh and the best part is that you can tweak it according to your taste once i'm done with that i'm just going to apply some uh, mascaras because i'm not going to wear some false lashes because obviously it is an everyday look so and um, for that i'm taking this wet and wild max fanatic mascara this is my current obsession you guys know that um i do not really use uh, mascaras uh, that are not from maybelline family but uh, this mascara is like oh my god i'm like really shook and it's really affordable the real reason i love this mascara because of this applicator is like really precise it just uh, makes your lashes uh, really voluminous and lengthy in a jiffy then it's uh, time to do our lips here i'm taking this dark wine shade this one is from the faces ultim pro this is like really nice and it kind of like creamy when you apply it but when it settles down it gives you a nice semi matte um, kind of finish but it's really comfortable to wear and it's like uh, longevity is also very good this look you can literally show off any dark color lip shade you can go with red you can go with brown you can go with maroon anything but currently i am obsessing over these two lip shades in particular so that's why i'm just showing it one is this uh, faces one and second one is back retro lip gloss in the shade called chocolate martini it is a very nice brown shade cool tone brown shade i would say but it's very dark also and perfect for winters and i really love that now for the second kind of look whenever I feel like that I will just go with a bold kind of eyes what I do is I take this NYX uh, gel liner with this uh, brush is from Nykaa this one has a silicone applicator and this is an eyeliner brush that brush is amazing so I just create a nice thick winged eyeliner I just I don't know I don't like really thin wing liner I don't know what's wrong with me I love 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 when it's like really nice 
and big and bold so yeah so here i'm just uh, creating that eyes are pretty much done now whenever i'm wearing this kind of nice uh, thick eyeliner i just uh, tend to keep my lips very neutral and nude and for that today i'm using this nyx uh, lid lingerie this one is my current favorite and this is in the shade called cabaret show perfect nude for indian skin tone i would say it's like a kind of warm brown uh, undertone and then last but not the least i need to set everything off because again it's a very very important step and for that uh, on a daily basis i use uh, these two uh, makeup setting spray it's from wet n wild and one is from nyx and both are in the variant of matte finish that was it guys these are the two looks that i wear uh, on a daily basis sometimes i just uh, keep experimenting with the color of my lip shades and sometimes i just keep my lips neutral and go for a really nice bold wing liner so so if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video take care bye